I've struggled with uh, depression and anxiety uh, most of my childhood. I think the first time I was in counseling was second grade. I struggled on and off through uh, middle school and high school and uh, I turned to substances eventually um, and for relief. When I came out here into West Virginia, um, I came to a program, uh, Jacob's Ladder, I was here for six months and they helped quite, quite a bit um, with my mental health as well. Um, not only substance abuse, but I knew uh, coming here, finding the r, r &I Center, um, I knew I needed a lot more help. TMS is transcranial magnetic stimulation. These are pulses of magnetic energy um, that are able to um, stimulate the, the brain cells that are called neurons. Depending on how we use these magnetic pulses, uh, we're able to either increase the activity of the target brain tissue or decrease the activity of the target brain tissue. And, and this is a very focused, personalized treatment. I had heard about TMS years ago um, when I was struggling with the relapse and, and again, just trying to get back on track and get stable. It feels like, a, I mean, it feels like a tapping. Uh, I know I've heard that described as well, but for me, I mean, it feels like there's somebody just kind of like tapping on my forehead. It doesn't hurt. Uh, at first it was a little uncomfortable. It's not shock. It doesn't feel like that, but it does like it because there's that scatter. Some of the magnetic waves are like stimulating briefly some of the muscles on my forehead. So you, you kind of see my eye twitch during it, but it doesn't doesn't hurt. After the patient started the treatment, the initial change can take as can, can be seen as early as two weeks but it can be as late as five to six weeks. Paul started his treatment back in, in uh, 2020 and, um, and, and experienced a, a great clinical response to this treatment. And just like with other therapies where we sometimes have to change the dose based on you know, other medical problems that are going on or um, you know, other situational factors, similarly for TMS, over the years, there are times when Paul has had worsening in his clinical symptoms and we increase the dose of TMS. And as he stabilizes, we decrease the dose of TMS, just like his, his primary psychiatrist is, is managing the, the medications and their doses. Our team manages the treatment of the, uh, the TMS dose in combination with those therapies. I remember like Dr. Najib coming out and being like, I notice you're sitting up now. Um, and just my posture and how I presented myself, uh, like to him could completely change. And I, and I didn't notice it, but he did and he was able to you know, um, point that out and it was, it was very helpful for him to, you know, say how I'm progressing and seeing the changes before I did. There's a lot of things that go into play uh, as far as like what would be the best treatment for me and PMS has been that.